Hi everybody, my name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio, and today I'm going to show you how to map a SharePoint site directly to your PC, no different than you would for, say, a network drive that is connected to a local file server uh, or a file server that's hosted in a colo facility. And it's very easy, it's straightforward, and the great thing about this is you can map a boatload of either files or folders or document libraries directly to your PC. This way you don't actually have to go to the SharePoint site every single time to access your files. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick. And right now we have our internal ops uh, uh, SharePoint site for our teams uh, directly in front of you. So right now I wanna go and say advanced specializations. And I access this folder all the time and I don't wanna have to go to SharePoint every single time to access it. So I'm going to go ahead, and as you can see in this folder, I have my navigation bar, and I want to add this advanced specialization directly to my PC. So what I can do is go ahead and click on Add Shortcut to OneDrive right up here. And what it's doing is it's telling my OneDrive, all right, here's a direct connection into the SharePoint environment. What winds up happening is if I go to my folder here, what it's going to show is now I have access to the advanced specialization right here. And it's directly connected to my PC. The great thing is it's also accessible from any device that you have OneDrive installed on. So you can access it from your cell phones, tablets, all that wonderful stuff. So especially if you're a road warrior or you're traveling a lot or you're just working from home and you're working in this documentation library or folder all the time, you can easily access it directly from your PC. And as you can see right here, I have all my folders and all my files that are here. And say, for instance, I go ahead and create, uh, let's say, a new, oh, we're just going to go ahead and do a text file here. I can go ahead and say test text file. And as you can see right now, my status is syncing. So what it's doing is actually syncing with that document library uh, uh, on my SharePoint site. Now, keep in mind, whenever you're using this, this is a cloud, not necessarily a cloud sync. So basically, it's a direct link into your SharePoint environment. But what about if you don't have an internet connection for a majority of time? So if you're on a plane or you're traveling, what you can do is you can right click on the folder that is linked and you could say always keep on this device. What this will do is now do a sync directly from your SharePoint environment directly to your PC, and this allows you to access the documents without having an internet connection. So say for instance, I'm working on a Word document, I'm gonna get on a plane, the plane doesn't have internet access, I can go ahead before my travels, right click on this, say keep on my device, and I'll have basically a version of that document directly on my PC. And the great thing is, as soon as I go ahead and connect back to the internet, wherever my destination is, I, it will go ahead and say, hey, there's a new version out. It's going to go ahead and replace that version. Now, what about if somebody was working on that document at the same time that you were up in the air? Well, the great thing about SharePoint and OneDrive and Teams is that there is versioning enabled automatically in your SharePoint environment. So as long as somebody doesn't overwrite it over 501 times, you can go ahead and roll that back and figure out what has changed, what needs to be changed, and what needs to be updated. My name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Velocio.